Hey, this is Adrian Granados, and you're watching True School Sports. Brandon Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with my main man, Adrian El Tigre. Granados, what's up, champ? How you doing? I'm good, brother. Thanks for having me. It's, it's, it's good to have you, man. It's um, first of all, it's been a while since we like did like one of these, so I'm, I'm happy to have you on my channel, man. Um, I consider you a friend, really, because I've talked to you a lot about just not just boxing but life. So it's, it's good to have you on. Of course, of course, brother. You already know me. Yeah, I wanted to tell you too before we get into it. Uh, I, I've been watching a lot of your interviews, bro. It, you don't have to be you don't have to be pol politically correct on, on here. I, w w me and you are boys, so you can be as you can you can be as uh, uh, unfiltered as you want here on True School Sports. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, so I'll, I'll start with uh, just the obvious. Uh, obviously, you got a big fight coming up against Danny Garcia. Um, just tell me, man. Like, like w w w when you got the call for this fight. Like what went through your mind and 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 just yeah, what, just tell, tell me what 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 ran through your mind when you got the call for this fight and you, before you took it. Um. Yeah. No, I was excited. I was excited. This is a fight that I've wanted for a long time, and um, and, and you know it's a it's a, it's it's a great fight. You know it's a it's a fight that I think is going to be good for boxing. You know I think uh, I think our styles mesh well. You know, uh, we're both from big cities, you know, him from Philly, me from Chicago, you know, and he's Puerto Rican and I'm Mexican. So, I mean, that that in itself sells itself. Um, yeah, man, I'm excited, you know. Um, I like that they changed the the fight from New York to, to Cali. I was okay with Vegas, and then when I heard Cali, I was like, oh, even better. You know, that definitely, uh, that definitely uh, brings out the Latin spirit. You know, I know there'll be a lot of Latinos, especially a lot of Mexicans out in the fight. So I think it's gonna make for for fireworks. Uh, I'm excited too to be fighting in uh, Carson, California, at the former Stub Hub, now the Dignity Sports Health Center. Um, that's definitely got a it's an it's a stomping ground for for some classic wars, and I, I think we got another one coming up uh, April 20th. Absolutely, man. And uh, you know, Danny Garcia is a guy who's made a lot of you know big waves in boxing. You know, been in big fights, won big fights, been a world champion for like a number of years. Um, when you see when you see Danny Garcia as a fighter, like stylistically, stylistically, what do you see? Like, is there anything different that you see that maybe fans don't see about Danny Garcia? Um, no, I mean they, they, it is what it is. He's a uh, he's a smart fighter. Uh, he's a patient fighter. You know, he's uh, he's willing to set you up for a big shot. You know, um, he'll be losing a fight, or he'll be he'll be looking like he's losing a fight, and he'll. Uh, They'll change it all with a knockout or or, or 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 a punch that just changes the whole the the whole sway of the fight. Yeah, you feel like uh, this is the one fight for you where you know because people will say like, well, Granados, he's a he's a come forward Mexican fighter. Do you do you feel like this is a fight where you can show the world like, hey, I am more than you know a flat footed Mexican fighter because that, that that's what a lot of boxing fans label you as. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think uh, I only gave him a taste of that against the Broner, uh, Adrian Broner. Um, it was um, it, it was a fight that that you know I decided to go that route. And uh, I mean, yeah, no, there's definitely a lot more things. You know, um, I mean, I, I probably won't shy away from walking them down though because I mean, you know, Sean Porter had a lot of success in it as well as Brandon Rios. Um, it was um, you know I feel like. Uh, uh, pressure fighters give him problems uh, and I am a pressure fighter uh, but there's definitely a lot more things I got in the tool bag than just a come forward uh, flat footed fight absolutely man um, I wanted to ask you this because I, I know you I remember one time I think I think it was after the I don't remember which fight it was I remember I, I feel like one, there was one fight where you talked about it was either before or after the fight where you talked about how you, you saw a lot of these guys in the amateurs um, was Danny yeah. Garcia a guy you saw coming up to the amateur ranks at all? Or? Um, I didn't really see him, but I mean, I, I would see the name like at the tournaments. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, I was there with him, and I mean, I uh, I, I know he he was at one thirty two, I believe, while I was at one forty one. Um, at, at that's when he lost to Terrence Crawford. I had lost, I forgot to who, but I, it was a quarterfinals, I believe, I had lost to. So, so we were around the same, same, you know, 
era. Um, I actually, that's, you know, that's when I got called down to Mexico and I was, uh, um, I made it as a reserve, um, you know, but um, he, he made the right business choice and the right business move that got him hooked up with Al Heyman and Golden Boy when that was. Yeah, hello? And, and, yeah, hello? Yeah, you broke up for a second. What were you saying? You said that he, he got hooked up by Al Heyman and Golden Boy, Danny. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it, it, I don't. It could have been, you know, the the popularity there in New York. Um, I know, you know, they got a good buzz there, and at that time, especially, um, I, I, you know, I, I don't hold none against him. You know, God bless him. He got hooked up with the right team right away, and uh, they were made able to make a hell of a career out of him. You know, and uh, um, you know, good for him. You know, I know he's made a lot of money and and, and done a lot of good things for boxing. So I mean, you know, I. Uh, you know, I, I I I I do want what what he has, and I, I'm definitely I'm I'm trying to go out there and take it. Absolutely, man. I I know recently you did your uh, face to face with them. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I saw some clips. Uh, when you were sitting across that table from Danny Garcia and you looked into his eyes, w- what did you see? Um, I mean, I, I I just seen Danny Garcia. You know, I it was the first time I really met him, and uh, you know. He, he is what he is, you know, he's a confident fighter, um, um, you know, a little full of himself, but I mean, you know, that's where we all kind of are, you know, you got to have that confidence. Um, I think too, though, he kind of got the, he got the gist of it that I, I, I'm not, I'm not there to, to, to kiss nobody's ass and I'm not there, I'm not here as just an opponent, I'm here to win. And, uh, you know, I think, yeah, that's why, you know, it kind of got to a point where I believe, uh, you know, he kind of caught the caught the vibe and, and you know he he's a little bit more serious about the fight and, and like yeah that's why we had uh we had the second interview uh with PBC unboxing and I think you know they were asking him if there was a beef there or something like that because I think I'm giving him that vibe that you know he knows I'm not I'm not, I'm not there to back down and I'm not there to lose so you know I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna be coming for him. Absolutely yeah I I believe so man I mean there's there's two welterweight fights going on that night. There's the Crawford Con fight, which I know is a big pay-per-view fight for top rank, and there's this fight. And I've I've been saying for a while I think this fight has a chance to be better than that one on paper. To me, I think it's a better style matchup. Um, I agree. I think I think it's gonna be a great <laughs> night of boxing. Uh, the Bud, the Bud Crawford and uh, Amir Khan fight is gonna be a great fight as well. Um, but definitely I feel like ours is a little bit more competitive and more of a fifty-fifty fight. And uh, I think it's going to be a barn burner.